Hello Warriors, we're gonna create our first Nest.js project today. But before we do that, let's talk about graphic user interface and command line interface. Graphic user interface and command line interface are a way to control a computer. Let's take a look on an example to understand the difference between GUI and CLI. Let's say we needed to create a text file in Windows using GUI. With a right click and an empty space in the view, then select the text document in the menu. In GUI, control methods are visualized, so we can control our computer by following what we see in the view. If we perform the example in CLI based environment, We'd have to type text command to perform the example. Git, Node, npm, and SJS have their own specific set of CLI. Let's take a look. These are commonly used commands from Git. These are commonly used commands from Node.js and npm. These are commonly used commands to generate Nest.js boilerplate. Now we know what commands to use, so let's apply and practice. Open up your VS Code, uh, open folders, and create a folder. I'm gonna name it Workspace, and select that. So now we are in that folder. Uh, control tilde, it's gonna open a terminal in VS Code. And right now, the terminal is uh, Windows PowerShell by default. Uh, let's change that to Git Bash. Click this and select default shell and click Git Bash. And we click new terminal, close PowerShell. And now we are in Git Bash. We have to install Nest.js, so let's use the command. So npm install. We want to install Nest.js CLI globally, so npm i Nest.js CLI. Enter. Now Nest.js is installed. Let's see if it's in installed by using command uh, npm sg steps. So as you can see, Nest.js has been installed successfully. And let's create our project as, uh, using Nest.js command. Nest new play Nest Nest.js with Nest.js tutorial. Hit enter. So it's asking you a question, which package manager would you love to use? So I, I just use your npm. Okay, there you go. And let's move into that folder. So code dot slash play tab. And it's gonna just autofill the rest of uh, typing. And hit enter. And we just, uh, so now we are inside this play with SJS tutorial folder. As you can see here. And close this one out. Right, let's control tilde to open the terminal. So this is our, so we are inside the project now. So as you can see, the Nest.js uh, providing us a lot of uh, files. It, it can be overwhelming, but let's break it down as much as uh, we can. So let's just start with uh, package.json. So this file has all information about script commands and what dependencies uh, this project is uh, containing. So basically, pretty much that's what package.json is for. And tsconfig.json, um, this is for TypeScript configuration. So if you want to play with the settings uh, about TypeScript, uh, tsconfig.json is uh, a place to go. At nest shellline.json is a, if you want to change some settings of 
uh, nest.js, uh, nest.shellite.json uh, is a place to go. Uh, prettier RC is settings for your format. Um, Git ignores any, anything in here when it's not gonna be in a Git repo. So any files you wanna exclude, uh, we can just uh, put it in here and the files inside a git ignore is not part of um, uh, in git commit and eslint uh, rc.js this is uh, the linkage for if you have some kind of error uh, grammar error and stuff it's gonna catch and let you know uh, this full test folder is for um, for testing so the source folder is where the actual implementation happens so it's gonna start from main.ts gonna just run bootstrap function and it's gonna create app uh, with this function and you listen to port 3000 so the module is just it's a container for um, service and controller the main purpose of controller is we, we want to set our endpoint um, inside controller and the service we want to fill our business logic inside the service and then we just continue this pattern we create module we create controller and service so that's, uh, that's the way we want to create this application server. That's it. Uh, we created our first NestJS project. And we talk about the configuration files and hierarchy of NestJS files. Thank you for watching.